Somebody at NASA make sure you're writing this down. This panel proposes sticking a plant inside your helmet in space, creating a symbiotic relationship where you and the plant exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Thus, you would get to enjoy unlimited space travel. Interesting stuff going on, but no, it doesn't work. Plants produce oxygen through photosynthesis, but only during the day. During night or in low light conditions, plants switch to respiration, consuming oxygen and releasing CO2. That means that times they would be competing with you for oxygen not so great in tight spaces photosynthesis doesn't just need carbon dioxide it also requires sunlight but guess what light isn't always available in space or on certain planets during night especially when you're floating around in the cold dark vacuum of space even if we ignore all the previous issues the amount of oxygen a plant produces is minuscule compared to what a human requires to survive when exhaling carbon dioxide a single plant wouldn't be able to process enough of it quickly to support continuous oxygen production. Because of that and the limited space in the helmet, this setup would quickly lead to dangerous CO2 accumulation. And let's not forget that humans need more than just oxygen to survive. That helmet would have to manage pressure, humidity, protect you from cosmic radiation, and keep you alive in extreme temperatures. For example, the moon can go up to 120 degrees Celsius during the day and plunge to freezing low at night. Also, the plant needs water and nutrients in a certain environment to thrive. A large number of plants would be necessary for sustainable exchange, which is impractical in a small helmet unless if we are talking about a space colony. To host life in space, we would need pressurized habitats with airlocks, plants, algae bioreactors, radiation shielding, temperature regulation, water, food, energy, basically the Martian. 